Hi, this is Jack, and I'm here to speak about alien abductions. So, ah, many people wonder whether alien abductions did really occur or whether it did not occur. And, well, okay, um, there are two ways that the interpretation of alien abductions were able to be experienced. Uh, up to ten years ago, um, there were aliens that did specifically, yes, come and did take human beings and did do certain interesting <clears throat> things with them. Um, it, was, it wasn't to investigate human beings, please. Um, human beings are the most primitive, nat primitive race in existence, so any bullshit of aliens being curious, that's not true at all, whatsoever. Um, some were, yes, in the beginning, way, way in the beginning. But in terms of until alien abductions were, came to the fore in, the, in this world, they weren't curious. They were merely <coughs> experimenting on more ways of how to do specific implants within the DNA structure of human beings. So they would take information from human beings, physical human bodies, and develop implant systems, um, information railway tubes, um, things like that. Was the most interesting one I thought was quite interesting was the one where they, they have abducted, abducted, they abducted human beings, a few, um, over a period of time. But no, this is 10 years ago, before 10 years ago, because 10 years ago no one had access here to Earth. So, before 10 years ago, they took some prospects of human beings um, they took some muscle tissue out of the human physical body and what they developed was the most interesting thing inside human beings. Now all human beings have got DNA obviously. So what they did was they placed in a electrical magnetic force within the DNA of the physical human body which forms like a body suit inside the human physical body. Now what would happen is, is all human beings would have this electrical magnetic body suit. It was like it was a dark blue, light blue color and what they do as they walk, they transfer information onto human beings continuously. As they walk, they magnetize, transfer, magnetize, transfer. Um, so, if let's for instance say they, mm, they there's an aspect in their world where there's a chance that they might, for instance, an experience would occur like a death in the family, and um, that would have them start asking questions because that specific person is now in a spiritual school or something and has come close to understanding and applying her his or her application. So what happened is then, for instance, this being would walk and then an activation would go on and say, okay, there's a problem situation, she's not full of systems, he or her is not full of systems enough. And what would happen is information would be transferred from another being, for instance, who had experienced a family loss or anything like that, but went and swayed into the opposite way of depression and obviously may be considered suicide, you know, probably in a mental institution or something like that. And then the person would be, that information from such a person who had that experience would be transferred onto the being, they'd swap roles, for instance, but information system roles, and then what would happen with this, with this man or woman is death in the family, leave the school of spirituality, how could I ever trust spirituality, etc, etc, etc. So, always pushing human beings into the polarity opposite of where they're supposed to go. That was just the, this, this manifestation was in for. It was quite fascinating. Um, obviously removed. Um, now, the other one is in dream states. Now, this, was, now this happened after... Um, this also happened quite during after the 10 year period, but this is a different scenario. What did basically happen is they'd be able to access the human being's mind consciousness system um, through slowing down and it, it's making time go f extensively fast yet very slow at the same time. They'd actually be able to create a vacuum around the human physical body, not only when they were sleeping, of course. Um, create a vacuum around them. Within this vacuum, what they do is they intensify it, slow down space and time at this space and time. So everything would go very, very fast, but very, very slow at the same time. It's kind of difficult to explain. Um, maybe one day 
able to experience what I'm saying. Um, so, and then what they do is within that they'd be able to open up the being, literally like spread the being out in space and time, which is fascinating, the physical human body, everything, open everything up. Um, because everything moves so slow, um, yet very fast at the same time, you're able to dis dissemble the human physical body interdimensionally and then add, insert, manifest systems, whatever. Um, yeah, so th they liked using the alien presentation, please. Um, the manifestation of aliens you see here is fuck-ups that were made by a government trying to clone people. Um, so those are most, some of the alien, alien races that you've apparently seen, and what you see in these pictures in the world, that is not how aliens look like at all. Um, whatever you've seen there was similar, but not completely. Most of alien races is real fuck-ups of the government trying to clone people. Um, so, um, yeah, so those, those are the two aspects of alien abduction that has occurred. So, <clears throat> of course, people who said they've been abducted by aliens ten years ago don't want to believe them. But it's not aliens. It's, it's just beings from other planets who assisted the Anunnaki with the enslavement of man. That's simple. Um, this whole story, you know, it just shows the, 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 the egoistic, power-controlled nature of human beings saying, that apparently that, you know, aliens are, what, curious and aliens will be coming and there are the most advanced races and things like that, but to a certain extent human, be human beings believe themselves to be. It's strange. Like, oh, we're special because the aliens are curious about our planet and, oh my god, we're special because the aliens are going to be coming and, jeez, god knows what, please. Earth was the last thing other races were interested in. This earth to them were, was an absolute prison. Um, it was really the most horrible prison to go to in existence. And everyone feared go, coming here, actually, to be honest. They weren't interested in it at all, except, of course, those who assisted Anu, the Anunnaki and Anu with um, the entire enslaving process of mankind. So, um, people that were, were said they were abducted 10 years before this date, which is about 1998-97, really were abducted. But though from there on, um, no abductions had taken place. Because everything of existence was completely locked down. From there, everything was basically mind creations, um, which Anu and them manifested um, in existence. And of course, the other, all the other beings that assisted them. Um, basically, yeah, so 10 years ago everything just became mind creations. Yeah, it's going to probably shock some many people in the world, but we're here to speak to you direct and say to you what's really going on, because I'm certain that's what most people actually really want. But they might not just admit it. Okay, this is Jack. Thank you very much.